Hey, this is Mesa RC. I'm Trent, and this is the Tomcat build video. First we're going to go through all our pieces and where to bevel and we're going to start with uh, the wing covers. So as you can see here we uh, beveled the front here and here and you're just going to want to use a marker or a pen, there's no need to actually cut it and then on top of that we, we these are the holes for the different, um, different wing placement and we'll go more into detail uh, when we build it but then you're going to want some washers to reinforce it and those won't actually come with the kit but you can make your own, anything that's just sturdy, like a plastic, uh, should just do fine. Okay, and then same thing for the other side. Uh, moving on, we have uh, the top canopy part. This is pretty basic, two bevels down the side and on the outsides. Um, here's your canopy, fairly standard, same thing. You wanna bevel all throughout it with a pen or a marker, and then on the outsides you actually wanna cut it. And then moving on to the main wings, uh, you just we have a bevel on the inside, so this folds over, and then you're gonna just glue that down, and here you have your ailerons. And you just wanna bevel that as well. And then here's all the holes for where we're gonna put the skewers in, and these don't need to be have washers. We'll get into that later though. Other wing, same thing. Um, Here's your bottom fuselage. Again, you want to bevel the outsides and then just marker a pen, crease that. And then these are actually your spacers for the wings to keep a little, um, for some stability and strength. And then here's your uh, top cone piece. Again, four bevels in the middle and then two on the outsides. And then here's your underbelly. You're going to want to um, pick out the foam on the insides of here because this is where your fuselage is gonna stick in and then bevel the, the two outside flaps, just like that. And then here is your underbody. You're just gonna cut the whole way through on all these so they'll fit in nicely and these are where your other washers are gonna go on the bottom to keep it nice and strong. And then finally you got your stabilizers and on the bottom, you have your elevators and you just want to bevel these on one side just like that. Okay, for electronics here, we're using the standard supersonic V2 motor. Um, we're using actually four, four um, servos because we have uh, both control surfaces, ailerons and elevators. And you're just going to want to use these lightweight servos for the front and then some more heavy duty metal geared for the back. And then on top of that, you're gonna want a ton of extensions and Y splits because there's a lot of electronics going through the plane and they're pretty spread out. Okay, after you have all your pieces collected and your electronics, we'll get to the build. Okay, for this build, we're gonna work from the bottom up. And so you wanna to to grab your belly pan and your fuselage. And we're gonna put this in by using the motor as a guide for angle you want so you're going to place both of these inside along these two lines here indicated by the triangles once you get those in there like that you're then going to put your motor here to get an idea of where you want the angle to be and once you get that you're going to just put two glue strips along the insides And then you're going to move to the outside, and same thing, two lines, one for both sides. So once you have your fuselage and your belly piece together, you're going to put your motor in here, and you're going to put uh, some glue on the sides, and on the inside, and on the bottom here. Then you're just gonna slide that into place. 
kind of nice and like that. And then you're going to push the flaps outside so it's nice and tight against the fuselage. And you're going to let that dry for about 15 seconds. And th then you're going to put uh, two lines on the outside here and here. Uh, but first, you want to make sure your motor looks straight and parallel to the back. Okay, so the next is your main underwing. And what you're going to do is you're going to feed uh, this through here. And you're going to line this up. And just to get a feel for where everything should go. And once you see that it's nice and snug, you're going to take this off. You're going to quickly throw two lines of glue from here all the way to the front of this. Same thing over here. And you're going to place this back on top. Once you see that it's fitting on nicely, you're just gonna place your hand on top for about 20 seconds. Okay, next we're gonna fold down the belly plate outside, and first we're gonna dry fit it, and make sure it fits nice and snug, and that goes right into there. Okay, so now we're gonna take it out, and you are going to put a glue line all along the bottom here, skipping the servo hole. And you're not going to go the whole way out to here because that part's actually going to be sticking out. And so you don't want to drag the glue here, so you're actually going to pull the base plate away. And then once you get the middle one in there, then you can put the rest of them in and push down. And then once you have it securely in place, then you're just going to go with a line on the outside. Again, skipping the servo hole. Just like that, and then one in behind. I don't know, but this glue gun hates me. And I had to bend that in the Why? Did. Why'd you bend it for? Because you said to bend it so you wouldn't scrape. Yeah, I said like, kind of like, work it out a little bit, not like <laughs> Well, it wouldn't. I was working it, and then it didn't go, so I bent it a bit. Okay, to recap, now that we have our base plate in and it's nice and snug and nice and clean and the glue is dried, we're gonna flip to the top. Now, I already got one side of the wing done and this is what the end product is gonna look like. And so we have our top plate over, over the wing and it's taped down and these are our pins to hold it in place. This one's firmly glued on, but this one can come in and out and this changes your wing wing angle and so that goes back in like that so that's what we're gonna be shooting for and we're gonna do the other side so first you're gonna uh, take your wing piece and these two spacers and you're gonna line them up the big one fits with this hole and goes on the line that I've made here and the other one goes on the very outside and you're just going to glue those in place. Make sure they're nice and straight, and this one especially lined up with the hole. And then just take off any excess glue. Okay, so now that these are dry, we're gonna fold the wing over and make sure it fits nice. Now, we didn't put any lines here because we've, we felt like it would, um, it would weaken the wing and to the point it, it may break. And so you are gonna see a bit of a bending. That's okay. So it should fit right just like that. And then make sure before you do glue it that your servo is inside in this little pocket like so. And you're gonna throw down three strips of glue, one here. One in the middle, and one down this crease. And you're just going to fold it over and hold. 
So next we're gonna uh, check and make sure the holes are lined up and you can just use this with another barbecue skewer and you're just gonna push it through and if they come out, see that one works. They are gonna be a bit tight, but that that is expected. This one works and finally, yep, they're all lined up. And so next we're gonna glue our servo in. I'm just gonna place it in like that. Glue on the bottom. that down and then glue on the top. I'm just gonna let that dry. So now that the, we got the wing built we're gonna move to the wing cover and we're first gonna just strengthen this because this tends to be a bit weak. So you're just going to put some glue over the top and then smear it in like that. And then now that is a bit more strengthened. And now comes the probably the most tricky part of this build video is lining this up over top. And so what you're going to do first is you are going to want to grab some tape and just put it on the bottom and line it up with this bevel mark. This, you are going to line this corner up with that one and this is going to overlap a bit outside but that's okay that's what you actually want and once you think you have it lined up you're just going to grab the tape and press it in I do recommend that you have someone else do this for you because you will get wrinkles and it may not look as nice but once you have that then you can fold it over like so and you gotta kinda work it. It is not gonna wanna go at first. Just gently so nothing breaks. And then this extra piece up here, this can be folded underneath. Like this. Yeah, just place that under there. Doesn't really have to look nice because no one's ever gonna see it. And so just keep working this in, bending this slightly. And you're gonna want this flap to go underneath and wrap around, but you're not gonna glue this yet because you need to deal with your um, with putting the wing in. But you do want to have your ESC in, otherwise it's gonna be a pain to get back in there and hook everything up. Now we're gonna fit the wing uh, inside, and we're gonna have our skewer on the, the one most front to the plane, and we're just gonna put our wing inside here. I'm going to dry fit it like that, and then you're going to very gently, you got to be paying attention, try and find the hole underneath and put it in so you're not actually stabbing the plane. And so once that looks good, you're going to actually want to wor work the wing in so this gap becomes non-existent and it just looks like one piece. And so you're just going to keep pushing it in until you think you've got it as good as good as you can. I think that's the most we're gonna get out of it. And so you're gonna take this out then, holding the wing seal, grab your glue, and then on these creases, one right here, one right here, and then right in front of the foam, because it'll actually melt it if you put it right on top. You don't want to go the whole way back because then it will actually hit the wing and glue the wing down. Okay, once that's back there like that, push that in. You're going to glue your flap, and that goes right here. Fairly generous amount because it is holding a lot of pressure to keep the wing from flying back up. 
And then so you're gonna push inside at the same time you're pushing this down, and you're gonna go underneath. And then you're just gonna hold that. Okay, now, so you're just gonna kinda work it in now that it's almost completely dry, and you're gonna wanna make sure you don't have any excess tape, and you may even wanna reinforce this with another piece. Uh, we've had some problems where it comes off, so a second piece of tape would always be good. And make sure there's nothing sticking out. You may wanna fold this down to make it look a bit nicer. And then we're gonna complete this and make sure it's really protected. And so you're gonna wanna move this wing all the way to the back, like this. And then you're gonna place this tape the same place you place the glue and fold it all the way under. And this will just give it extra support and really make sure that cover is not going anywhere. And once you think you have it in place, you can try out the wing, make sure it's, it works. And there you go, there's your change in angle. So your pins are gonna be uh, your last part of the wing covers and you really wanna spend some time on these because it can be hard and you can miss the hole really easily. And so for this one, you're just gonna cut it off right where it's barely sticking out of the bottom and you're gonna cut the bottom off and then you're just gonna glue it on both sides because you want this one solid. And then same thing for the back one, except it's gonna, uh, it's gonna kinda look like this. It's not gonna be glued and solid because you're gonna be moving it back and forth based on where the angle you wanna have. And then maybe just put some glue on the top so it doesn't slip through or anything like that. And then, yeah, next we're gonna move on to the elevators. You flick it in a ham! Are you serious? I, I just flicked it in a Toy like, jacking up a product! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Alright, go for it. <laughs> okay, so now we're actually gonna complete the, the top cover plate and we're gonna glue this flap down. And it should fit right in there, and so you're just gonna throw a line of glue right here towards the very front. And one right here. And then you're just gonna press this down and hold for 30 seconds. Make sure it's lined up and everything. And this may be sticking out over here. You just wanna kinda work it in and so it's kind of level with this piece right here. You're gonna take your servo and you're gonna feed it through and ideally you want the wire on the side of the receiver facing that way towards all the internals and whatnot. And so you're just gonna put it in like there, make sure it fits real nice, then grab some glue on both sides as well as on the bottom. And you're just gonna slide it in there like that. And then, why we're here, the two holes here actually aren't for the pins, they're the, your center of gravity holes. So this front facing one here, and there's also one on the other side, is for when your wings are like this, swept forward. And so you're just gonna put your battery right there. And then when the wings are swept back, you're gonna use this, these two holes, and then you're gonna put your, slide your battery back there. That's serving four different ways. So now it's time to actually hook up our servos and we're gonna do it in a kind of different sense than you usually would. We're not gonna hook the ailerons up and the elevators up together. We're gonna hook one side and the other side together. So these are gonna act in coordination. So when, when you wanna turn right, both of these are gonna go up and when you wanna turn left, both of these are gonna go down. And so we're gonna just get a Y split and connect this servo and this servo together, and you're gonna just put this in your aileron slot, and then the same thing for this side, except it's gonna go in the opposite opposite slot. And so if you this was aileron, this one's gonna be elevator, and you're gonna create an elevon setup. And so make sure you have your colors together, white to white, and then the same thing for this side. And then you wanna plug this in, and you're all ready to go. It's time to complete the, uh, the fuselage of the plane, and we're gonna start with the easiest part, the canopy. And so this is gonna be taken on and off a lot, and so you wanna make sure uh, it's, it's not weakened or anything, and so you wanna glue any parts coming off, like see the, see the cardboard's coming off here, just a little bit of glue. I know it's not big, but it can grow pretty quickly. And so you're gonna kinda open this up for the next part, and you're gonna throw two strips of glue down, like, this. And then you're just
just going to fold this in here. And you're actually going to put it in to see how it fits, and then you're just going to let it dry once you know it's nice and formed and it's not crooked or anything. Just like that. Okay, tell me when you're ready. We're good. Okay, so now we're gonna um, actually put the cone together on the bottom piece of the fuselage. So you're gonna wanna get some tape like this and just attach to the bottom. And you're slowly gonna work these together and pull the tape up at the same time. It's kind of tricky, but you wanna kinda close, you wanna kinda close the gap. Because right, you're gonna fill this in with glue. And so kinda just like that, make sure it's nice and nice and tight, and then you're gonna get more tape and you're gonna fill all the seams along the edges and so the glue can't escape and it'll make the, the cone look a bit uh, sloppy. And so on either side and even do it out to where you already put the plastic tape just for some extra reinforcement. Once you've got that all secured, you're gonna make sure it's formed how you like it and you're gonna get glue, and you're gonna fill it from here all the way up to, to, the, to the nose. So now that the bottom nose cone is dry and it's formed, we're going to put the top cone piece on. And so you're going to want to put glue on each one of these crevices, just like this. And you're just going to kind of curve it in real gently, make sure there's no excess glue. And then you're going to actually put it on top to try and get the form. And once you think you have it and, and you're making sure it's not leaning to one side or other and it's completely straight, you're just going to hold it until it dries. So now we're going to glue the top cone to the bottom piece. And so you're just going to put a little glue on the very top edge all along the front. Gonna set this on very gently. And you're gonna want to fold the, the fuselage in a bit because it is gonna be sticking out. And then you have your tape here, and you can tape it all along to hold it because it is tape. It does take a while to dry, and you don't want the glue seeping out. So now where we're waiting for the the top cone piece to dry, we can do the canopy. And so you will see like we have some edges sticking out here. Don't mind that, you can just cut it off after we get it glued. And so you're gonna throw a strip down here in the center. On this side too. The other part is basically already formed, but if you want, you can put one in the middle here too. And then you're just gonna place this over top of the canopy right here. And just make sure it fits all well, and then you're just gonna hold it until it forms. The last part is easiest, and we're just gonna put the stabilizers in, and you make make sure you don't have them at an angle or anything. They, they're just gonna be straight up, just like on the Tomcat, and you're gonna throw a glue line right underneath, and fit it in, making sure you don't get glue on the top of your plane, just like that. Then. You can look back like this, just make sure they're completely vertical, which I think they are. Then you want to do the same thing for the other side. Just like that. And again, making sure completely straight. 
and I think they are. <laughs> in video, um, feel free. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the Tomcat build. Um, if you want to see how to do the control surfaces and the servo horns, that'll be in the Maiden video. Um, but feel free to buy the plans and the kit online. And let's go fly this thing. Thank <laughs> you.